And today I have a super cute DIY for you guys. I was recently in the store and I saw this really cool half sweater, half flannel, vintage custom made dress thing. And I really wanted it, but it was $300 for this piece. And I looked at it and I was just like, I can make that for like, I don't know, $20. So that's what I did, um, and today I'm going to show you guys how I made this totally cute flannel dress thing. It's super easy to make, it requires no sewing whatsoever. All you need is an oversized sweater, an oversized flannel shirt, trim with holes in it. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean, but corseting trim basically. Some string to go through the corseting trim to hold the dress together and optionally a patch if you want to be extra like me and some super strong fabric glue um, I recommend fabric tack that's what I used in my video as you'll see in a second um, I use it for most of my crafts it's really good fabric glue like so yeah without any further ado let me show you guys how I made this super cool dress first I measured how long I wanted the top part to be and cut out basically a cropped sweater Next, I did the same thing, but for the skirt part, which would be the flannel shirt part. Next, I took my Fabri-Tac glue and glued my corseting trim to the bottom of the cropped sweater. You can get this corseting trim at any craft store. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so this is an optional but kind of important step. Next, I glued the flannel button part down so that it wouldn't open or unbutton when I was walking around wearing it as a dress. Also, in my case, my flannel shirt was about two inches wider than my sweater was, so I created two one-inch darts in the back of the flannel so that it would make it smaller and also make it a little bit more shapely when I wore it. You don't have to do this if your flannel is the same width as your sweater. And in fact, I recommend trying to find a flannel that's the same width as your sweater so you can avoid this step. But if you can't, then just do what I did here. Then just do the same thing that you did at the bottom of the crop sweater and glue your trim to the top of the flannel part. Next, take your cord and lace it through the holes like you're lacing shoelaces. I didn't record myself doing this because it took me about an hour to do the whole thing. So just put on TV show and take your time while you do this part. You're pretty much done at this point. I wanted to make mine a little more custom, so I added an iron on A for anarchy, but except for that, you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments and what you're gonna do if you make this dress. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. Please subscribe. I just hit 800 subscribers recently, and I really want to hit 1,000 ASAP. <laughs> I really want to hit 1,000. That's my goal. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.